Um, and as I say, we st stuck to the task brilliantly uh, and got no rewards. Uh, we obviously got the early breakthrough this morning that we were looking for uh, and we're hoping to capitalise on that. Uh, and I can't fault the guys' endeavour, but it didn't come. How much of that is down to the excellence of the Nottinghamshire batting and how much to the <laughs> excellence of the pitch? <laughs> Look, it's both. You have to give a huge amount of credit to Clarkey and Young. They played superb. Um, you know, it's, I think it's, I heard over the tunnel, it's the Heidi's third wicket partnership. Um, and that's testament to how well they played. Uh, Clarkey's obviously in rich vein, vein of form. He's coming off the back of 200s already this summer. Um, and you need to get those guys early, otherwise they'll punish you. Uh, and we didn't do that. Was there anything you felt that Lewis Gregory and his bowlers could have done that they didn't do? No, look, on reflection, we'll always ask those questions, but I think you know we threw everything at them today um, and they were good enough to withstand that. And as I say, I can't fault our guys. We tried everything. Um, you know, we, Obviously, once the new ball came or the second new ball, we thought that might create opportunities. It didn't, but the guys kept running in, asking questions um, on what's turned out to be a really good surface. Given the excellence of the surface, is there any way you can see a positive result to this game tomorrow? Yeah, I guess a lot depends on how the first hour goes. You know, who knows? Crickets, you know, we, no one, of the, I guess, have anticipated what's happened today, this morning. Uh, 21 wickets fell in the first two days, and there's only, well, two wickets falling, or one wicket falling today. So um, I don't think any of us saw that coming. And again, you have to give a huge amount of credit to the Knotts batters. Um, and I guess the game can go one or two ways. You know, we can get those breakthroughs and put some pressure on and hopefully chase the total. Uh, and Knotts might be brave enough to set something up um, in the afternoon. Who knows? Um, so we'll find out tomorrow. Just looking ahead a bit, what's the situation with um, Somerset's uh, injuries uh, to uh, Tom Abel and Jack Leach? Uh, so well, Leach is doing brilliantly. He trained with us yesterday uh, and then stayed around to do 12 month duties. Um, so hopefully um, he'll be available early May uh, if the ECB stick to that <laughs> and allow him to be available. Uh, and Abel's is progressing brilliantly. Uh, it's a day to day thing. We'll manage him uh, as his symptoms progress. Um, but hopefully he's not too far away. Will Tom Abel feature, do you think, in this first round of seven county championship matches? Uh, yeah, hopefully. Um, you know, as I say, he's progressing brilliantly. What's important is we don't rush him. Uh, we need to do what's right by Apes. Um, there's a lot of cricket left in the summer, and we obviously want him available um, for all of that. And how are Craig Overton and Lewis Gregory standing up to the uh, pressures of <laughs> four-day cricket and the sort of day that today has been? Uh, look, well, we'll find out tomorrow morning. Look, they've been brilliant. Obviously, Craig's been out for a while. Um, so he's played two games back to back. So after this, we'll certainly assess him uh, and make a decision moving forward. Because again, we need to look after him. And the same with Lewis. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> it's turned out obviously with him having the leadership, he's probably bowled more than he would have done last year so far. So again, we've got to be really smart uh, and make sure that he doesn't take on too much.